Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm Matthias Redman from the European Commission Director General for Communication Networks, Content and Technologies. And I come from the unit Smart Cities. So I will uh, present the context uh, of Smart Cities for the Future Internet. I will um, mention some challenges and opportunities for the Future Internet and then will try to engage you more in, in the smart city um, activities that the European Commission is running. So um, one of the main activities that we're focusing on at the moment is the European Innovation Partnership on Smart Cities. And um, European Innovation Partnerships are rather new. There are five of them currently running. The one on smart cities is the newest, and the one on, on active and healthy aging is the oldest. And they're different in, in the way that they're not a funding instrument, but a coordinating instrument. So um, they serve to uh, step up research and, and uh, development efforts and to, to also streamline um, regu um, regulation and standards in this area and um, mobilize demand. So this uh, specific um, partnership on smart cities brings, is centered around the three sectors, um, energy, transport, and ICT, and uh, tries to break down the silos between these sectors and also bridge between the public and the private sector at the same time. And um, so this is more the operational uh, strategy. And politically, the partnership wants to um, achieve a triple bottom line gain for Europe, which means a better um, quality of life for its citizen and increased competitiveness, competitiveness for the industry and um, contributing to the energy and climate goals of Europe. And um, so, as I said, it's about these three sectors, ICT, energy, and transport. And, um, the, the ICT sector and the future internet um, plays a vital role in, in, in integrating uh, these sectors. And um, there are numerous um, uh, ways that, uh, that it helps enabling smart cities. And just to give some examples, so it's about connecting sensors, actuators, smart devices, and objects. It um, brings new functionalities as regards um, security and identification. It will um, also give additional uh, fun um, services. And, um, but what is needed for that, since we're talking about these three sectors at the moment, possibly even more in the future, is open systems and, and platforms. So that, uh, that is what the European Commission pushes for, so not to, to uh, develop and think in, in, in these silos anymore, but um, you know, bridge uh, across the board. And um, what we also see um, where the future internet and, and ICT in general is very important is to uh, facilitate a behavioral change towards more um, sustainable um, behavior. And so we, we see lots of, of opportunities there, but we also see, since we're talking about sustainability, some challenges for, um, for the future internet and the ICT sector in general in, uh, as regards its own environmental impact. So just to give a few um, a background um, data, so um, data centers consume uh, already 2% of the global um, electricity. And um, if they were combined, they would, um, the, the whole electricity demand of the ICT sector would be ranked fifth on, on a global scale as a, uh, if it were a country. So that, that's, that's quite a high number, and we would like to uh, improve the efficiency of the ICT sector, the energy efficiency. And um, uh, also, everyone knows that the cloud is a game-changing uh, technology, but there as well, it, um, it has a big environmental impact that people do not necessarily always consider when, when uploading uh, documents on the cloud. And um, what is needed in that area is um, a common measurement methodology for, for the whole ICT sector just to, to, um, to see not only the advantages that um, ICT brings to the transport and energy sector, but also see how does this weigh with, with the own uh, impact of the ICT sector. 
So um, challenges are also there on, on, on the research side and, and the European Commission funds a, a number of, of, of research activities. So just to name two areas, there's, in October there will be one call on uh, the Internet of Things and already now uh, there is a call for support action in the area of smart cities to develop a framework for common and uh, transparent data collection. So, like I said, this, there is this push to, to re, uh, achieve a transparency in, uh, regarding measurement of, of the ICT footprint. And, but of course, there are various and a lot of opportunities. And this is where um, I'm trying to, to bring you on board in, in, uh, on to the Smart Cities Partnership. What you see here is the matrix of, of this partnership, which was developed um, by the, by the uh, stakeholders that are already involved in the partnership. And um, you can see that there are three uh, vertical areas and, and uh, the integrated infrastructures and processes corresponds largely to the ICT sector. And then there are vertical areas that, oh, sorry, horizontal areas that cut across. And in, in these areas, as for example, citizen focus, knowledge sharing, but also open data, of course, the, the, the future internet plays a vital role. And um, so this, uh, the, the partnership, coming back to the partnership, is about engaging and bringing stakeholders together. So um, what we, we're currently doing is creating an online marketplace for um, smart cities. So, um, and therefore we have launched an invitation for commitment. So this is um, independent of um, funding of the European Commission and this, it's a new tool in, uh, of what we uh, use at the European Commission. And the, the um, the goal of an invitation of commitment is to see what is on, what is on the market, what, um, what are the actions that uh, various stakeholders are under, undertaking, and how can this be put together. And um, a commitment itself is um, a measurable engagement that you're already undertaking or a plan to undertake in the future, and that will have some impact from between 2014 and 2015. 20. So um, we have room half full, at least, of, of uh, stakeholders, and, and all of you are engaged in, in various projects. So I invite you to uh, go on our website of the European Innovation Partnership and look if, if you um, can submit and co uh, co commit to um, being part of, of this partnership and showcasing um, your action there. It's. Uh, um, as I said, there's no funding um, associated with it, but at the same time, it's a very light process. It's, it's only a couple of uh, pages or, or text boxes to be filled in. So, you know, don't think of Horizon 2020 funding proposals. It's, it's not the same process. And um, the, the, the incentives or the, the, the raison d'etre for, for these commitments are to gain visibility. So you will say, and, and all the other players will say, what their actions are. They can also say what kind of other stakeholders they would like to involve. If it's a city that would uh, you know, uh, like to work together with another city, they can mention it there, or if they need support from, you know, a stronger support from the ICT sector. This can all be mentioned in, in this application, during the application process. And then, um, it's, uh, we will, we're creating an online marketplace where um, interaction then between these different partners can happen so to, uh, to allow learning and exchange of best practices. Um, for submitting a commitment, we, um, we prefer joint commitments, but as I said, individual commitments are possible at the first stage, and there you can then flag um, which partners you would like to bring on board. And um, so the deadline is the 15th of June. And uh, this is the website, so you can just Google it uh, using uh, uh, typing EIP uh, SCC. And um, there will be a light screening process for that. 
and all the commitments that are deemed eligible, which will be the majority obviously, will be published online for others to see, so for your direct stakeholders to see what you're, what you're undertaking, but also for, for city representatives and, and uh, many other players to, uh, to take contact with you. And um, based on that, we will then create action clusters where interested parties can then come together, interact, and, and uh, give feedback also on, on the commitments that are uh, on the market. So this is um, a bit the, the context of smart cities. As I said, we see there are lots of opportunities, uh, a few challenges, and with that, I would like to bring you all in to the European Innovation Partnership on Smart Cities and demonstrate the, the key role that the ICT sector and the future internet can bring in the area of smart cities. Thank you.